Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, wow, um, what can I say? So, to start with, I think what I'm going, I'm going to say is thank you to everybody who has come over from my mum's channel or um, had just seen me pop up thank you so much for subscribing to my channel honestly i never ever thought that i would get you guys to appear <laughs> um it's been quite a journey <laughs> um my mum said she was going to do it and i never told her that i had the channel or anything up and it's been quite really i'm worse for words i i'm i'm thank you so much like i don't say like and subscribe and stuff like that i know i need to um but you know if you like the video give a thumbs up i suppose i can do it now but and, and if you like what you see i'm just i'm just here for the for the fun i'm not you know i'm not trying to make a career out of it I've I gave up that journey a long time ago so um you can subscribe if you really want to but wow honestly everybody that has come over or have just found me on their home page or like subset suggestions I suppose that's called um thank you thank you so so much honestly I'm I am beyond words <laughs> uh it's been an experience seeing notifications come in saying oh so and so is subscribed and i'm like another one <laughs> it's so it's so weird so in my last video i said that i had lost just over a stone i am three you know it's four pounds off for a stone and a half it has slowed down. Um, I have not been well this last week. Um, I was working at my pub uh, job and me and a colleague got sick at the same time. It started with a sore throat, then a cough came and then I couldn't breathe out of my nose, <laughs> you know, as colds do. And then I just, I couldn't, I, I still, I still cough but it's at the evening uh like when I lay down like way where it is just like it catches me so um I don't sound as nowhere near as bad as I did uh last week um but yeah so there's a reason why I haven't done a video I'm thinking I'm gonna stick with that one video every two weeks it kind of works for me that way um there might be one where I uh do one a, a week we'll we'll have to see it it, it. never know it might change my mind <laughs> so i maintained my weight this week um because of being sick you the last thing you want to do is look at a bowl of fruit and go yeah i'm gonna eat that it's not what i'm doing that that was not what i was doing i was like oh chocolate because i feel like crap so and that's what i did i had like a packet of crisps as well so that did not help <laughs> but um what's going on with my hair today it can't because it's washed it can't make up its mind like whether it wants to stay there or go behind there or i don't know it'll probably go up in a ponytail in a minute <laughs> um uh so today uh it's the reason why i'm recording it a bit late i've got lights stuff on the curtains are closed it's dark outside and i have my handy dandy trusted light it's not a ring light or anything like that it's what i use for my cross stitching uh so it's just a handy dandy little light and you can see like my shadow like so you can see where this light source is coming from so i thought i know while i'm at home not really doing anything I'll make a video so today i went on an adventure i went down into the city of brighton and bumped into old friends and 
it was really lovely. Um, I don't adventure out very far on my own uh, because I have anxiety and it stops me from just getting on public transport is enough to stop me from going somewhere. But I'm trying to push through it, get through it, go go places. And that's, that's what I'm doing. I'm getting out and about and I've got my steps in. <laughs> you know, that body magic. <sighs> so walking around Brighton today, I haven't been down there for ooh, about two, three years. And bits of different, bits of the same. And I was very, very strong-willed. <laughs> Anyone who would know me, so like my family and stuff, they know I love playing consoles. Excuse me. <laughs> I love playing on my consoles. I love music. I love <laughs> anime, TV series, Harry Potter. <laughs> I... Disney, I'm obsessed with, like, collecting stuff, and I decided I was going to go into Forbidden Planet. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, terrible, terrible. But I walked out with nothing. I was a big girl, and I, I walked in, and I was like, I'm just going to have a look, because I knew we had, Brighton had a Forbidden Planet, and it was on my list to go and see what, what was in it. I walked in <laughs> and immediately you're like, oh my God, there's all this stuff that I want. And they have like these, the bags that are called lounge fly, if you know what they are. Um, they're like these little backpacks uh, called lounge fly and they're like Disney and anime and uh, like Marvel and films and stuff. And I saw one and I really wanted to buy it and I was like oh my god I love this movie so much but I don't have nearly 90 quid to buy it <laughs> so I was so with the, with the bags I saw all of them I wanted all of them because like I love Jurassic Park I love Disney so that like, there was like Robin Hood uh goofy movie was the bag that I wanted to buy the most because it was one of my favorite movies as a kid um yeah so like I said like Jurassic Park Disney uh Marvel uh Harry Potter I was like oh no let's just let's just walk away from these bags <laughs> then turning away from the bags you've then got a whole wall which is dedicated to the Funko Pops the pop figures and there's Disney Marvel Star Wars Jurassic Park and I'm looking at all of these like pop figures and I'm like I I already have one of that collection but they've got all of them and I'm like oh let, let's not uh buy any of these <laughs> Um, it was very tempting, though, with a uh, action figures, or not action figures, but, like, statue figurines of game characters and stuff. And I was like, I need all of these. <laughs> then went downstairs, and I'm so glad, I'm <laughs> so glad that they didn't have any of a game that I am, like, obsessed with at the moment, which is Resident Evil 4. Because if they had a character from that game, I would have given all my wages. All of it. <laughs> For this one thing that is probably about yay big. So, <laughs> uh, so I walked back up the stairs and I left the building and I just sort of went... <sighs> I did good. So then I walked around Churchill Square. Uh, went into every every friggin clothes store that you can think of because i have a, a graduation to go to uh this weekend and trying on clothes i hate i hate trying on clothes i tried on different dresses i tried on different tops i tried on jeans trousers i shoes you name it i tried i tried them on everything in every store and i was starting to lose a bit of hope because like I'd pick up this dress and it would say size 18 um I'd take it to the fitting room if I could eventually get in because it was so busy today 
and I couldn't get it over my bust which was really upsetting for me because all I want to do is fit into a dress and feel nice not like I'm stuck you know so that's it was very upsetting because like even though I've lost some weight I think I've lost more than what I have so like I want to fit into nicer clothes but I know I'm not gonna get there yet I just have to wait a bit longer um then I went into H&M <laughs> of all the stores I went into H&M and um I saw this shirt and I went I like that just just it, all the stuff that i was looking at previously i just went yeah well, that's all right like i just i need to wear something nice so it was just kind of like a autopilot take it off of the rack sort of thing but this top i actually went i want to wear that and um i'll get it i'll get it out of the bag for you because i do have it here it's just a plain black shirt it's just, it's a plain black, but it's very, as you can see, see-through. <laughs> Which then went to crap. I've now got to go find something to put underneath because I don't own vest tops anymore. Like I used to live in them religiously, but since getting a bit bigger, I was like, I don't feel comfortable wearing that sort of stuff. That's why you will see me in sleeves that are quite long <laughs> but i don't wear full sleeve because then i'm like i feel weird so but this this is a nice nice shirt i've got a lot it's got they've got longish long sleeves but it's the you can take like the cuffs like you can take take them out so i went into primark so i bought the shirt went into primark and well It's just a plain old vest top. See? Just a plain old vest top. Black. Black. It's all I seem to own is black. Which did make me feel a little bit rubbish. But it had to go underneath that top. And I'd already had like, I already got like jeans, black jeans and some nice shoes i just need to find a nice jacket but i've got a denim jacket that i think i'm gonna wear over the top and um i like my pins i've got some pins on it um but i might take them off but there was one jacket in h&m and i was like why didn't i buy it because i really liked it um it was um like a light brown leather jacket with um like wool on the inside and in my brain i was like it's short sleeve though i was like it's nice but it's not for me and then i went round the corner and there was one with longer sleeves i was like ah actually i really like that um it also reminds me of my favorite one of my favorite games at the moment so i could do that i could have that one but coats and jackets I really struggle with. Like having the larger bust doesn't help at all. So you have to really struggle to like do zips and buttons up. Otherwise they're like this with me. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got a new shirt and I got some new vest tops. And But the fact that it took me all day to get to that point. I was exhausted by it. And... So I was like, I'm going to go and do some other things that I wanted to do. So I went into Vid a bit Forbidden Planet and then didn't buy anything. And then went into HMV. Now, HMV is hit or miss depending on what time of the year you go in. So I went in today and I know I'm getting old. Like I'm 30 next year. 
but do they need to have the music so loud that you can't even hear yourself think? Like, does anybody else find that? Like, does anybody else have this thing where some stores have music that's so loud, you're like, oh god, you could turn that down just a smidge and I'd feel okay. But I don't know if that's because, like, my anxiety and stuff was still, like, being a problem um, or not. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, so I went in to V. Sorry, I lost my train of thought for a second there. Did you see that? Did you see my brain lose its function? <laughs> I swear I have ADHD. Um, so then I'm in HMV and I'm looking at all of the t-shirts as if I'd need any more in my life. I literally just got this one and I need, apparently I need another one. Um, I have so many tops. I have very rare, very, I have like two pairs of jeans. <laughs> and I wear them until they die. So, um, so I'm in HMV, the music's really loud. And then I just, I find these tops and they just, oh, they were just so cool. Like, I like creepy things. So like, I love, I live for horror. I love horror. And these tops were like anime girls with a twist like they had like vampire a zombie um a skeleton one like it was it was really i can't remember what it's called it's like midnight vampire club or something like that and i was like i love these but do you think they did them in my size absolutely not so what I realised going out shopping is I still have a way to go before I can fit into any of these clothes. It's upsetting, but at the same time, it's I have a goal. I still have that goal to get into those clothes. I can get into those things. Um, so I just... It just gives me more drive. That's what I'm after. It gives me more drive to get into those tops and find a dress and that. I know that once I lose more weight, excuse me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, I can't edit it. Sorry. Um, I know. Yeah, like, I know that when I lose weight, I'll be able to get into all these nice things. Because I did it before, I've done it before. I still got that original dress that I got for Christmas um, a, a few years back when I lost a lot of weight and I don't wear dresses. <laughs> and the fact I want to get into one just gives me more drive, gives me more oomph. I want to go and do it, go do it. Go lose that weight. So... I did lots of steps. I didn't actually eat anything today, which is not good. Don't, don't not eat anything when you're out and about. Like I had like Diet Coke um, and like bottles of water and stuff. So I was like keeping myself hydrated, which then made me realize I'm not hungry. I'm thirsty. So I was just, I was just thirsty all the time so I kept drinking Diet Coke and water and then I bumped into a friend and I am um, sorry I had a notification and I had to stop it for a second um someone was calling me <laughs> um yeah I bumped into a friend he called me outside HMB and I like froze I was like um someone is calling me I don't know who this person is um, and he like shouted down. He was like, "Oh, it's, it's me! It's me!" And I was like, "Oh my god, hi!" And um, he came and see, came and saw me, gave me a huge hug, and I hadn't seen him in a very long time. He's one of my really good friends, um, and he just he made my day. And he was like, "Hey, do you want to go grab a coffee?" I was like, "Yeah, sure, let's go get coffee because it's time I've been drinking caffeine all day, like because of the Coca like Coca Cola and stuff's got caffeine in it." And I um. So I went in, uh, we went to Starbucks and he was like, oh, I'll pay for your coffee, what do you want? I was like, ooh, can I have a pumpkin spice latte, please? Well, to say that pumpkin spice latte is my favourite drink from Starbucks is an understatement. I get so excited for these every year. 
and it was the, it's the only one I'm going to probably have this year as well, so I was happy I finally got it, but I have to drink it with soy milk, because if I drink semi-skimmed while I'm out, I cannot guarantee that my stomach won't hurt. I don't know why I have to have... I do. Like... I had an I had a situation with a normal cup of like a normal latte from Starbucks when it was normal semi skim milk and then was like ooh let's not um I'll go with soy next time and I've never had a problem with my stomach since so um cutting out like normal milk is actually great for me like and having like soy alternatives like dairy alternatives and stuff it's good for me I just need to see if i can get mum to buy me some because <laughs> yeah i don't drink as much tea as i used to so my stomach's like got used to not drinking a lot of dairy which is good it's good so yeah so like i had i had coffee today with an old friend it was really lovely to see him and then he and then he went off he had to go go back home and I then spent a few a bit a bit more time in town and I just and then was like okay I've done enough steps today I've got enough I've I've got my top and I'm going to go home and that's what I did I went home and yeah I just sort of chilled out really had some dinner and then come home so um that's what I've done today <laughs> and I thought the whole day I'm going to talk about this today. I'm going to record a video. And here we are. Uh, and like I said, I have a graduation to go to this weekend. Uh, that's back down in Plymouth. It's for my partner's graduation. Uh, four years of university is finally over. We can lift the hat, do all that. And uh, we're all going to go out for a meal afterwards. So I wanted something that I was going to be comfortable in after. So like, I don't want to wear something that was really freaking uncomfortable and then I have to go and sit down at a meal so I was like um let's find something that will tick both boxes that I'll be comfy in and I'm going for dinner hopefully it's nothing too bad like fattening wise because I, can, I won't be able to control myself I'll be like yeah let's have another glass of wine or let's go and have a steak <laughs> although I don't eat steak a lot I I'm not that big of a meat eater so yeah so I'm looking forward to just going back down to Plymouth just because it feels like I'm going home, but I'm not going home. This is my home now. Um, it's going to be very weird, but it's going to be a long journey. <laughs> We're going by coach, so <laughs> I'm a bit scared. And I don't do so well in travelling. I uh, get travel sickness quite badly, so hopefully I can get my travel sickness pills before I go and uh yeah exciting stuff i'll probably make another video for next week who knows at this point we'll see how this one goes again i want to thank everybody every single one of you for subscribing to my channel honestly i haven't stopped smiling since my mum did that post and all of you I am so grateful for you all. I love you all. Thank you so much. So, as I said earlier, if you like the video, give it a like. You know, if you're new here, give us a subscribe. I don't mind. I'm just, I'm just living on a high on it. It's, it's really, you guys really, really, really made my week. I was having a really rubbish one and you guys have made it 10 times better and i am so so happy and so grateful to you all so i hope you have a lovely evening day morning wherever you are in the world and just <sighs> make somebody smile that is your mission for this week you've already done me go and do somebody else you have a wonderful day guys and i'll see you all next time bye